But first, Western Mass News is your vaccine authority. Another large group of Massachusetts residents are now eligible to sign up for the COVID-19 vaccine starting today. Good Monday evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Western Mass News at 6. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Jordan Jagalinzer. People who are 55 and older are eligible in addition to those with one serious qualifying health condition. And that list of health conditions has been expanded by state officials, widening the number of people who are eligible. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo joins us now live in Springfield with the details. Audrey. When people with two or more comorbidities became eligible for the vaccine back in February, the list of conditions that the state considered to be serious was somewhat restrictive. But as recently as the last week, state public health officials have expanded that list to allow more people to get the vaccine. The COVID-19 vaccine is available to anyone 55 years and older in Massachusetts. But if you're 16 and older and have a serious health condition, you may be able to sign up for the shot too. In February, people with two or more conditions were eligible, provided their illnesses were listed in the state's definition of a serious health problem. It was a somewhat narrow list that's grown in the last week. The CDC and the Massachusetts Department of Public Health revised their list of qualifying conditions. Notable new additions to the list, people with an HIV infection, type 1 diabetes rather than just type 2, dementia and other neurological conditions, and substance use disorders. There's still a lot of um, individuals out there that still see substance use disorders as a choice. And it's not. It's a chronic disease. Madeline Aviles is the Vice President of Behavioral Health and Recovery Services at the Gondara Center. She says prioritizing people with substance use disorders for the vaccine will help cut down on infection and spread among this high-risk population. Individuals with substance use disorders are in fact more likely to have diabetes or obesity, cardiovascular diseases, um, heart problems, so long diseases. Western Mass News asking Springfield public health officials how the expansion of the qualifying health condition list will affect city residents specifically. We are disproportionately represented in those numbers as a city. So opening that up will allow us to give access to those individuals. But more than that, by calling out those comorbidities, you help people see themselves uh, in wanting to get vaccinated because they understand that we are really talking about you. For a full list of conditions cons considered serious qualifying health conditions, head to our website, westernmassnews.com. Live in Springfield, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.